Tonight's the night. Well, actually, it's morning, but the point is... Dexter. Oh, boy. Wasn't this a show back in the day? Sure. The ending series left a lot to be desired. But something far worse happened to Game of Thrones. And, uh... New Blood isn't really want to talk. Okay, so Michael C. Hall plays Dexter Morgan, a blood spider expert from the Miami PD. In, re in his spare time, he is a serial killer, but a serial killer with a conscience, if there ever was a thing. So... He has a dark passenger, or as Harrison la later called it, a driver. Anyway, so, he has a code to only kill bad people. Well, no shortage of people there. So, the atmosphere of this show is incredible. It's spooky, it's inviting, it's cool. The writing was great. The first four series were fantastic. The last four... Not as bad as you remember, I promise. Well. Five, six, and seven were okay. Eight is kind of skippable. I guess that's the trend with, a uh, With, uh, TV shows nowadays. Skip the final season. Uh, another thing I loved about Dexter was its brilliant cast of characters. There was James Surprise Motherfucker Dokes. He was easily my favourite character. And if they'd had any sense, they never would have killed him off. Trust me. You had, uh, Maria Laguetta. Uh, whoever knew, whoever knew you could make bitchiness likable. In fact, the actress who plays her, fun fact, she has a twin sister. And also, the same one I'm talking about is apparently going to be in the next Transformers movie. Look it up on her Wikipedia page. Uh, you had... Angel Batista, who popped up. In uh, New Blood. And I remember Man of Recaps. He's always had his thing like. And if you care about Batista's love life. As time went on. You really didn't. But his. Short lived marriage with Leguetta was. Amusing. Okay. Uh, you had Masisuka. Uh, he was hilarious when he was making sex jokes, but let's face it, he never would have survived the Me Too movement. Not that that means anything anymore. And, uh, of course, Deborah Morgan, the foster sister. Who had the worst character ending ever in series 8. It's a good thing they did have her as uh, hallucinations in the uh, in New Blood. It's certainly more unhinged.
My favourite season of the original show, surprisingly, is series two. For me, I think it makes sense that Dexter was always hunting himself. That's the it's the first season where we had reference to the Bay Harbor Butcher. And it was also Dokes' last season. And it certainly upped the drama and things. It was legendary. It also had La at her most conniving, which I loved. Fun is fun, but... I think sleeping with your boss's partner is a bit overstepping a bit. Turn, so, Clyde Phillips was both the salvation and damnation of Dexter, so it seems. Which, if you go by Stephen King, they're both the same. Salvation and damnation are the same thing. I've not really been sure what that meant. But given the original run of Dexter and Dexter New Blood, I think I can get a fair picture. Because yes, he was the making of Dexter and also the ruining. And if there's anything you have to say, it would probably be open your eyes and look at what you've done. I'll touch more on this when I talk about New Blood. But yeah. It is what it is. So thank you for watching. Have a have a good one. See you all very soon. Peace Nater out. Cut the check. Tonight's the night.